Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a famous game played between Ukrainian chess grandmaster Ruslan Panamaryov and Fritz Computer. The game was played in 2005 in Bilbao. This is the last known win by a human against a top performing computer under normal chess tournament conditions. Let's see what happened on the board. Panamaryov opened up with d4 and Fritz responded with knight f6, c3, d5, bishop f4. Panamaryov goes for London system which comprises a smaller body of opening theory and taking into consideration this fact this is just a perfect opening when playing against computer bishop f5 e3 e6 queen b3 and knight d7 Fritz is sacrificing the pawn on b7 but is not understanding that in this position tempi do not provide adequate compensation for a pawn here we have bishop d6, after which we have the exchange of dark squared bishops on d6 and queen a6, rook b8, queen a3, queen b6, and b4, black castled kingside, white is simply a pawn up and all white needs is to consolidate his position and then play for a win. Here we have knight d2 e5, meanwhile black is establishing a strong center, knight f3, queen c7, bishop a6, White is both developing his bishop and at the same time is taking under control his c8 square, not allowing any possible rook c8 moves. e4, knight g1, rook b6, rook c1, knight b8, yes, black is kicking away the bishop from that active square in order to place rook on c8 square. Rook c8 is on the board, bishop d1, Panamaryov is freeing the e2 square for the knight and also, intends to bring his bishop on a4, e8 diagonal, bishop d7, knight e2, bishop b5, a nice activation of light squared bishop, now the bishop on f1, a6 diagonal, looks majestic, right? White castled kingside, knight d7, knight b3, h5, rook e1, h4, seeing that White's queen side is super solid. Black is looking for a counter play on the king side. H3, rook b7, knight a5, rook b8, bishop a4, a6, bishop b3, knight b6, queen b2. And after queen d7, Panamaryov played a3. He wants to bring his queen on the a2 square and target this pawn. We have it, queen a2 is on the board, rook c8. With maneuvering by both sides, the position is closed and both players are maneuvering all the time looking for better squares for their pieces. Here comes a4, bishop d3. At this point, the score indicator on Fritz monitor was uniformly red, indicating that the program was consistently unhappy with its position. But in here, Ruslan Panamaryov blundered and he played g4. Here is how this happened. Panamaryov advanced his g pawn from g2 to g4, attacking Fritz's queen and believing that the queen had to move away to safety, in which case Panamaryov's position would have been overwhelming. But as the pawn reached g4, Panamaryov froze. His hand still on the piece for a full 15 seconds or more. What he had suddenly remembered to his horror was that the pawn on h4 could capture and passant. The former world champion simply overlooked one of the basic rules of chess. But having touched the g pawn, there was nothing to be done. He could, of course, play g3, but with the same result, black would capture on g3, that's why he played g4, hoping that black won't capture and pass and bad. Fritz went for it. Fritz was merciless and it captured and pass and. After M passant capture, Fritz suddenly changed the color of the score bar on the monitor from a long red line to a long green one. Here we have F takes g3, g5. Black wants to remove the defender and win this pawn. Panamaryov played g4, but Black kept on attacking white pawn, knight h5, and this time Panamaryov lost his g pawn. Queen takes h5, queen h2, queen h4, king g2. White's position is totally lost here. Panamaryov also lost the pawn on c3. Rook takes c3, rook takes c3, 
queen g3 at this point already everyone was expecting that the win is just a matter of seconds by fritz but it was in here that fritz got entangled in its own analysis and blundered fritz played bishop c2 I guess the reason for this is that it misevaluated the upcoming position where white was getting two pieces against a rook but simply overlooked that white is managing to gain a passed pawn on the queen side which is becoming white's trump card. Instead black had several ways to win the game. Black could simply capture on g3 and then play f5. The endgame is winning for black or Black could even go for knight c4 if queen takes h4 then g takes h4 and white can't save this position. How is white going to fight against these active black pieces and the passed pawn? Let's go back but in our game after queen g3 we have bishop c2 and once Panamaryov exchanged the queen on h4 he played rook c1. By playing bishop c2 black stepped into a nasty pin. Rook takes b3 was played. And we have knight takes b3, a desperate attempt, black got two pieces against the rook, but white will now get a passed pawn on the queen side and it's over. b5, bishop a4, well if knight takes a5 then b takes a6, in our game we have bishop a4 and anyways, b takes a6 is on the board, bishop c6, a7, king g7, a6, bishop a8, rook B1. And in here we have a resignation by Fritz team. White will play rook b8 in order to support his pawns and it's over. For example here is one of the possible lines. Even if you capture the pawn on e3 this won't give you anything. Rook b8 is coming and once Black is losing his bishop this a pawn will march forward without meeting any obstacles. A very very dramatic game I think played between Panamaryov and Fritz computer. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is the last known win by a human against a top performing computer under normal chess tournament conditions. In the end, as usual, would like to ask you to solve a chess puzzle. Please take a look at this position and try to find the winning move for black. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. By the way, Think deeper please, you will be proud of yourself if you can find that move. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, consider checking them out as well. I will see you in my next video, take care.